Okay, so I'm gonna do probably four, four or so um, short videos to demonstrate the uh, oil portrait. Um, and, uh, you know, I've got my photograph and of course I had my plastic uh, tracing there. You wanna take the plastic off, okay? Set it to the side. You actually may need it later, um, so don't lose it. And then you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have some paper towels. You can see down here, for more, most portraits, unless you've got some greenery in the background or you have some teal or green somewhere in your painting, um, most of you are gonna be able to get away with ultramarine blue, cadmium yellow, cadmium red, alizarin crimson, and white. That's all you'll need. You won't need any of the other colors um, that are available to you, okay? Including black, which we don't have and I'll show you how we're gonna be making that. So even though, now I've projected uh, Natalie on the canvas, and then I have her photo here. So um, I'm going to use, of course, my detailed tracing as a guide, but I also have to be looking at that photograph almost the entire time. I, I can't rely just on this, okay? Later in the painting, when we get to some of the colors, there'll be these white pieces of paper in the room that have holes in them. If not, we can make more, but there's a stack right there now. What you can do is you can hover um, the hole over an area that you wanna try to match. Try to match this color the best you can, and then you take it away and you prove that you've got the right color, and then you can paint that area of the po portrait, okay? For this first uh, session, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with my darkest darks, okay? And you can see that there are several darks along the shadowed area here. Of course, her shirt underneath here, her pupils, maybe her eyebrows, the uh, corners of her mouth, maybe some of the darks in her hair, and I'll, and I'll call it right there, okay? So, um, I don't know, Natalie, if you wanna kinda of get right about over there, it'd be perfect, okay? And here, we're going in with my ultramarine blue, if you wanna. Got your ultramarine blue, alizarin crimson. I get that violet. Remember Jacob asked about the violet. Now I'm gonna take a bunch of that yellow and dump it in there. I'll take some cadmium red too and just see how my black is going here. It's getting a little kind of brown on me. So I'm gonna add a little bit more blue in there. Maybe just a touch more because the complement of orange is blue. And I start to get this kind of nice black. It's a little violet. Let's throw a little bit more yellow in there. Okay, and I think I got a pretty nice black here. Possibly a little bit more yellow. A little bit more cadmium. Okay. And then that'll serve our purpose. Okay, nice deep dark black. There we go. Nice warm black. Okay, so first of all, actually, I'm gonna add a little bit of blue because I do have, I'm gonna add blue off to the side here because down on her shirt here, I do have quite a, a deep, dark, um, blue, uh, cooler, but very dark black. Okay, so I'm gonna come in here and just sort of stay in the lines best I can here and knock that out rather quickly here. Like so. Okay, then I'm done with that part. Now I'm gonna warm it up a bit. Come in here with a little bit more yellow. I can already tell, and maybe even a little bit of um, red, add a little turpentine to give them that fluidity I'm looking for. And I'm gonna just shop around now, right here. Pretty dark little spot right there. Okay. She's got that little um, highlight right there that I'm just gonna leave alone for a second. Okay, bringing in some of that yellow, a little bit of that cadmium red to kind of warm it up. Not maybe not, not quite so dark. Let's 
Starting up here, and again, being careful to stay sort of in the lines. Every little move I make, I want to check with that photograph. Don't want to be freestyling it too much and not paying attention to that photograph. Because that photograph's got all the answers to it, to the, to the portrait. Photograph's going to tell you how to do this. Someone, if someone comes up to me and says, hey, how do I paint a nose? I usually say, hold on, let me see your photograph. Because there's no right way necessarily to paint a nose. It's more what nose are you talking about? What angle is it at? Where is it? What is its color? What's its tone? So you can, you can answer that question with a question. We're gonna go up into this little part here. Let's figure out where we're at, okay? So I've got a pretty dark right there. And then it sort of continues like that. And I gotta leave it alone. You don't wanna paint things um, a particular color that aren't actually that color. You know what I'm gonna do right now is if you notice on her neck, her neck is quite dark, okay? It's out of the light, all right? So I'm actually gonna, spin off my darks here. I'm going to add just a tiny bit of white. I'm going to add a little bit of red. And you'll find yourself doing this quite a bit as I'm going to hold it up to the painting. And you can see that here in just one second. Okay. So notice how I'm holding that up to determine whether or not I've got the right color. I would say I do. So I'm going to come in actually right here Remember, I'm trying to start with the darkest darks. So I, I'm intentionally seeking out darks. Okay, so I'm gonna put that in. It's a little bit darker over there. Over here where I ended with um, some darks, I'm gonna do that. Let's get just a tiny bit lighter so that we get some contrast on our neck here, like so. Tiny bit of white, not a whole lot here. Some of that red, some of that yellow. It gets lighter in this area here, which is good, okay. Now I'm calling up these colors quickly and you'll be able to do that. It'll take a little bit of practice, but believe me, in, in a relatively short period of time, you'll be able to call up those colors too. And by call up, I mean like create these colors pretty quickly. And just to give you an example of kind of what I'm doing is if we take that color there, and we paint it next to the uh, hole there, uh, we're doing pretty good. I could actually be probably a little bit darker in that area kind of down in here, like so. So sometimes your eyes play tricks on you and you can't believe how, how dark something is. But again, remember in context, um, it, will, it, will, it, it will look correct once you get the rest of the story kind of filled in. You put a big dark shadow on your face and when you first put it on, you're like, oh my God. But then once you sort of fill in the blanks, It'll make more sense to you. Go a little bit darker right here along the sweatshirt. Like so. And then we get lighter. So again, you absolutely would not want to just paint this whole thing all one color. You would want to take the time to kind of look at it. And again, it looks a little sort of odd right now, perhaps, but um, once everything is painted in and sort of in context, it will make a lot more sense. There's a little bit of a cooler area here, kind of down in there, like, like so. Kind of a little bit of like her clavicle right there. But then I gotta get a little bit lighter here just to show that separation on her neck here. Something like that, okay? You know, well, man, if I got that color, I'm just gonna throw that little highlight in there of her hair. 
we can fix that in a minute. Okay, the rest of these darks, okay, so let's go ahead and I'm gonna add a tiny bit of white. We wanna match her eyebrow here. Now I'm a little too purple. Okay, not quite dark enough, pretty dark. Let's go to our sheet here. That's looking pretty good. And again, you can, if you find out you're off, always have a paper towel ready in case you're, you're switching colors or your brush is getting too gunked up. Okay, so we're gonna come into that eyebrow. The shape of those eyebrows, and again, you can trust your, uh, trust your drawing as best you can, but you're still looking at that photo. So a lot of this is determined by the photo and not necessarily by the drawing. The drawing was not a perfect thing. You know what I'm gonna do is since I have a similar color down in there, warm that up a bit, but it's pretty similar. So let, actually, let's, let's go ahead and just while we're in here, let's grab that eyelash. There's that eyelash, okay. While we're down in here, let's grab, ooh, let's grab that pupil. Okay. I'm um, just studying this here pretty good. We're gonna have the edge of her iris. Is darker than the iris itself. All right. And then we got to, you know, again, we can go down to our palette here and we can, let's figure out where we're at here. Okay. We got that comes down like that. And then we get a little bit cooler up in this shadow. And you want to be, you want to be detail oriented like this. You don't want to just skip over stuff. Okay, so that comes down like that. <clears throat> okay, so just get an idea of the eye there. All right. And then um, we're going to come down here. And again, we go down, we go below the iris. And then we sort of wrap up like that. Okay. Um, and we want to be really, you know, the, none of this stuff can be generic. It all has to be derived completely from that photograph. Okay, so that just sits like that. Okay, while we have, uh, you know, these colors and paint on our brush, I'm going to actually thin my paint out just a little bit. And we've got to um, really be careful. with that crease where your mouth uh, is formed because that has a lot to do with your own personal character. It, it really helps define your character and your gives you who you are. It's one of the things. All right, I'm gonna go a little bit further here. Let me just kind of pop this in here, just on her eyebrow. It starts to lighten up there. Let me grab, um, let me grab this iris here. And really, I should have been doing the, when I did the one iris, I should have done the other one. You start to figure that out, although it's been a lot of years painting and I still didn't do it, but. Okay. I'm gonna, um, there's that upper lid there. Here's that lower lid.
Okay, we got, um, again, we don't want to add stuff that's just not there, so be very selective on how you, there's that dark there, and again, a lot of this stuff's going to get tweaked as we work with it. Um, I'm going to wipe my brush off. While I'm at it, I can take my first shot at my um, irises here. And again, depending on your photo, Okay, depending on your photo. Uh, you, you can't go necessarily with the color you think your eyes are or the color you identify uh, your eyes as. So like, for example, my wife's eyes are green. I can't just mix up some generic green and plunk it in there. I've got to base it off of what I'm seeing in that photo. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Sneak them in there. I lost my iris a bit, so I gotta get that back. And that gets back in there like that, and I could fix that in a minute. But you kinda get the start of that green eye there. I've got, I've got really dark brown eyes. Um, you know, there are times when uh, my eyes almost look black depending on the lighting. So in your photograph, you know, you may, you may not wanna make your eyes black, although if you wanna stick to the photograph, I guess you will. But um, sometimes just in the photo, you just can't tell. You can't, you can't see what, what you've got there, okay? So let me plunk a couple more dark areas in, um, and then we'll, we'll call it a day here and switch to the next one. Natalie, what are we at time-wise? 1730. Well, okay. All right, so let's let's just get a couple more darks in here while we're at it. We're just trying to match that dark in her hair. Okay, I'm kind of liking that. It's a little bit yellower. All right, that'll work. Okay, so we're gonna come in here, we're gonna figure out where we're at. And again, a lot of this can be edited later, but we don't wanna put stuff that's just flat out not there. Come up here. So, and again, make sure I'm in the right spot. We got one there. I got one there. Down here we could add a little bit of blue. A little bit of white, believe it or not. Okay, we're getting kind of like a, there we go, that's pretty good. So this is where it hits that um, fleece coat. So you have a little bit of that kind of gray coming through. Not gray hair, but just a little bit of a gray uh, cast to it. Okay, um, let's come over here. Almost there. Looks like this will be about a 20 minute video. That's a little violet. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. More blue than you think, you know? Overshot it a little bit. Sometimes your darks get kind of muddy. Get kind of muddy on you. Just you're trying to just figure it out and they just, they kind of run away from you a little bit. I'm gonna add a little bit of white to this mixture. Not much. 
Okay. So we're gonna come in here, we're gonna grab from this shadow. We've got that. Okay, like that. Again, really sticking with the, really sticking with just what I see. And for now, I think that's probably a good place to stop. We just kind of went through, we did a little bit of modeling. We, we spent some time on the eyes. By no means is that gonna be the end of our time in the eyes, but it at least gets started. We haven't yet gotten into the dark skin yet, the shadowed areas, except for maybe her neck. We're just kind of plunking in some colors, but um, we'll come at it again. Maybe I'll spend a little time before we start the video, kind of working it a little bit more. But um, this is video number one, and uh, thanks for watching.